Hello everyone, today I am going to tell you my story about my journey. It all started from the day that I got two weeks of holiday from my workplace and I decided to spend my holiday by visiting one of the places that I have planned on my bucket list. It's called Torres del Paine National Park. Torres del Paine is a national park located in southern Chilean in Chile. It has mountains, lakes, and glaciers. It was a popular destination amongst the hikers. People usually visit this park during springtime around October or November to avoid crowds. After a few hours of flight, I finally arrived at the Punta Arenas Airport which is the nearest airport to Torres del Paine. Right now, I will be heading to the park by taking a bus. I am now arrived at the main entrance of Torres del Paine National Park. Now, let me tell you a story about this park. A Torres del Paine landscape is dominated by the huge Paine Massif, also known as the Cordillera del Paine. The Paine Massif is an independent mountain formation with unique characteristics. About 12 million years ago, a, the sedimentary layers of earth being lifted up and slowly worn down by glacial erosion, which resulted as the massif today. In 1978, the UNESCO has designated this park as World Biosphere Reserve. Since this place has become a national park, I always curious how they preserve this place. After several research, I finally found some information. They won't allow anybody to build the structures or furniture in there as it will ruin the natural environment. Other than that, travelers should leave rocks, plants or other natural objects when find them. Once I enter the park, I can see a several wildlife that are natives in this area, such as guanacos and hummel deers wandering around the field. And I can also see a condor soaring up in the sky. The animals here sure live peacefully. After that, I began to walk around the park to sightseeing every part of natural environment here, which I don't see it anywhere in Malaysia. Phew, I'm really satisfied and tired at the same time. I've been here for a while now, and I guess it's time to head back then. As I was on my way to head back to the main entrance, suddenly there is one misfortune happened during that time. A strong wind started to appear out of nowhere. Oh no, my head. Before I could react, the wind blew off my head really far away. I ran as fast as I could in order to get my head back. But then, I accidentally hit the rock and fell into the ground which caused my cheek to injure it. It was really painful. When I get up, I am no longer see my head anywhere. I lost it and there is nothing I can do now. As soon as I almost reached the downhill, I bumped into another person who appears to be a traveler like me. I saw him holding something on his hand but his face seems confused. When I take a closer look, it was actually my head that he's holding right now. I immediately approached him to get my head back. Hello there, do you know who's the owner of this hat? Yes sir, it was my head. My head was blown away by the wind recently. I see. No wonder I saw this hat flying in the air and I grabbed it without thinking twice. Here, take it. Thank you, sir. No problem. By the way, your cheek doesn't seem fine. Here, I give you this. That man realized that I was injured and he voluntarily handed me a plaster. Thank you again, sir. I'm truly appreciate for helping me. My pleasure. I'm happy to help. After that, we both farewell to each other and continue on with our own journey.